Hi, I'm Jeremy and I'm a technical recruiter at Google. And I'm Lizzie, a business recruiter. We're gonna walk you through our tips and advice to help you prepare a strong resume that stands out for any job or internship at Google. We'll also share tailored resume recommendations and examples for business and engineering and technical roles that you can apply to your resume right away. And feel free to skip ahead to specific timestamps noted in the description if you only want to watch certain parts of the video. Let's get started with a few important basics for your resume overall, and then we'll walk you through everything you need to know for each section of the resume. To start, make sure the format is simple and consistent in design, font, sizing, and spacing throughout so that the person reviewing your resume can easily scan and find information quickly. Black ink is always a safe bet, but other font colors are okay as long as they're readable. And PDF formatting is preferred. Include your contact information and email at the top. You don't have to include objective statements, but if you do, make sure it's relevant to the job you've applied for. You also don't need to include references. Try to keep your resume to one page for business and internship roles, and no longer than two pages for engineering roles. Really focus on including what's relevant for the specific role you're applying for. Use bullet points with consistent formatting and structure throughout the resume, rather than long paragraphs. And perhaps the most important tip we have overall is to always check for typos. Now, a few additional basics for technical and engineering candidates. List your programming languages at the top of your resume and make sure you're comfortable interviewing in them. It's also critical you list your GitHub profile or other prominent open source work that shows us you're contributing to the open source community, passionate about the work you're doing, and looking to improve your skills. For all resumes, it's important to use clearly delineated sections. Think about what a recruiter needs to know about you and your experience, and then organize them accordingly. If you're a student or recent grad, education should always be listed first. If you're an experienced industry professional, this section can be moved lower on the page. Experience should take up the bulk of your resume. If you have multiple distinct categories of experience, consider creating subsections for each. If you're a technical or engineering candidate, include personal or class projects next. We then recommend including a leadership and awards section. You can use an optional final section to tell us a little bit about yourself. Now, let's walk through our advice and tips for each section. First up is education. Generally, the more recently you attended university, the more detail you should include here. So pay close attention if you're currently a student. Include all post-secondary institutions you've attended and all degrees and majors with your most recent education first. Definitely include your actual graduation date if you've graduated or the anticipated date if you're still enrolled and always in the month year format rather than season year. For example, May 2017 instead of spring 2017. If you're a current student or recent grad, include your cumulative grade point average too. But don't be scared by this. Although GPA is a factor, we look at the whole package and understand that every school and student is different. Experience